Vicki Adams was a young music and voice student at New York's Juilliard School of Music. She was already winning the beauty and talent contests that would lead her away from a career as a lyric soprano. And within a few years, she had teamed up with pioneer television personality Ernie Kovacs, whom she later married, and who brought out a comedic talent that Edie herself had never suspected she had. Well, today, Edie Adams is considered one of the most accomplished and versatile entertainers in the business. And we'll be talking with her in a few moments after she sings for us to the accompaniment of her husband, the renowned trumpeter Pete Candoli. Will you please welcome once again Miss Edie Adams? Don't worry about me, be happy, my love. Let's say that our little show is over, and so the story ends. Why not call it a day, the sensible way, and still be friends? Take care of yourself. Sure. that you have to vocalize for. The low part is hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and hearing, hearing Pete is so great, too. Pete, Isn't that great? Pete Candoli is, is just one of the top trumpeters in the world, in, in the world of music at all. And it's uh, such a pleasure to, to hear him. Isn't it? I have to tell you that um, it's not quite 10 months ago. He had... Hello? Did I say that? Hello there. A little feedback there. on, little the feedback on this. He had a five-way bypass. I, I know about that. And, you know, the trumpet playing is probably the hardest thing to get back to. He was playing the trumpet, um, well, for small little things uh, about a month after, and we did our symphony concert six weeks later, and he plays okay. like this. Okay. Yeah, those... It's amazing. Those operations, when successful, sometimes leave you better off than where you started from. He's, it's They're, true. No, that's there was an article in uh, one of the Inquirer or something, but they said all these things and he couldn't jog. He jogs better, he lifts things, he does everything, and he plays like that. I just had to say that. That, that is really out. great. Yeah, I th he's, he's, he's marvelous. And you are marvelous. It's great to Oh, thank you. That old voice still hangs in there, doesn't it? You had a thing that, uh, not only that, as a, per not, uh, as a versatile artist, you're well known, but as a person, there are things about you that are, are known, but not as well as they ought to be. And one of them is I have undying admiration for you that you inherited debts from your marriage to Ernie Kovacs and you worked yourself to the bone and paid them all off and went on from there. I think that's a, I, I just yeah. like to see that kind of 
it's spirit that's preserved exactly. in this country, and I hope it's still with us, you know, in other Yeah, I, I said something on the last Over Easy show that I'd like to clear up. What's that? I said I didn't, and I got a lot of mail, that's why I have to say something about it. I said I didn't understand women's lib, but nobody heard what I said after that, or the people that wrote. What I said was I didn't understand it because I'd been living like that for 30 years. Because you were liberated. I was yeah. already liberated sure. in my own head, so I just wanted to clear that all up. That's and it, that kind of gutsy stuff is part of what I lived, and that ladies that have written to me please understand uh, that's what i meant so all you all you have written okay. to a writer again and write her a nice letter i said i did send some letters back but i did want to straighten that's that out fine. no i am a doer i like to do things i know I like you do and you've had in in the case of uh, your marriage to pete and i know you worked with ernie kovacs also in those two marriages you were a close working relationship mm -hmm. is that is that better in a marriage than people having just keeping things very separate? Well, I think so. I mean, you don't have to explain why you're late for the office because you're, you're you're at the That's office. The office is at home and whatever, and uh, he doesn't have to explain a G minor seventh. I mean, we both understand yeah, exactly. If it was if he were in a computer business or something that I knew nothing about, I don't know whether I'd have that much to it might share be harder, actually. Yeah. But uh, in music, uh, he does the musical part and I do the words part. It helps. And it, uh, it works out. Sure does. It's great. You know, in addition to all of your activity now, I'm mean, uh, singing nightclub appearances and singing pop things and, of course, singing classical, which you do so well with symphony orchestras, yes, you're I also... Love it. Yeah, isn't that good? You, love you, it. you still do a lot of that. Yeah, I love that. You are writing a book. Isn't everybody? Do you know anybody? <laughs> no, is there anybody. anybody here that is not writing a book? I, everybody's writing. <laughs> No, I don't know I'm, anybody. I'm glad you are, I can say that. It, uh, what is, this is biographical and mm -hmm. autobiographical. Autobiographical, and it's very interesting. You find levels inside yourself, because I started with somebody, and it didn't work out right. It just, uh, I, finding out, like, I keep diaries, little one-word things, and yeah. I have diaries going back to when I was in high school. Oh, and, that's great research material. And I remember, I read it, and I read what I thought every nice little girl uh, wrote in diaries. And it wasn't what I was thinking at all. It, then I read my mother's diaries. Now, my mother must have been a suffragette type because we were all late spawners and whatever, and we skipped generations. I had my children late. She had us late. Oh, yeah. And I always knew that I was expected to do so. I didn't know what it was. Her outward message was, show business is terrible. But her inner message was, don't get stuck here in the house like I am, because she was a brilliant lady. Well, she wanted and to I know. read her diaries that went way, way back. And it was just That's it's like, very interesting. it's mind blow. It's better than analysis. So if you want to <laughs> save time and trouble, write a book. Please. When can we expect to, to see the book? Well, I don't know. Swifty Lazar keeps saying, just let me read that chapter. And I said, I won't let anybody, because I have piles and piles, but it's not sifted through. He said, right. I'll sift yeah. through it. But I still have, it's... You're reticent to turn it over to an editor. It's, it's yet, like appearing it. naked. In, I don't know. Has your, has your attitude towards yourself changed profoundly since you started writing it? I mean, other than as a result of looking at these diaries and whatnot. Uh, yes. You, you see yourself as another person. I look at some of the, you know, I have big newspaper clips. And it's like I'm reading about something about somebody, somebody else. else. I That's said, gee, was that where I was in 1956? And, oh, well, I, it's like another person in a different life. And... Um, no, it's something that I'm looking forward to because I have three books now in mind. And after this one's done, well, I have two more. Well, good for you. Are you going to know if you ever give up singing, and I hope you don't, would you go on writing then? Or yeah. Would, that's, uh... I'd like that. Then I, I wouldn't, you know, you can let it all hang out. I love sure, it. Sure, yeah, writing you know, is I'm great. You know, I'm doing a lot of new parts on television, character parts. Also, you can do it on your, on your farm instead. You my don't have to be in a big farm, city, do you? My almond farm. How about singing another song? I'll right? try. I'll right. try what and you, give it one. What are you going to sing for? This is an old coward song called If Love Were All. Okay. Oh, whoops. Did I do something wrong? Oh, there you okay. go. Okay. Edie Adams. <laughs> what I can, in crying when I must, in laughing when I choose. Hi ho, if love were all, I would be lonely. I believe the more you love a man, the more you give your trust, the more you're bound to lose. Although when shadows fall, I think if only somebody splendid really needed me, someone affectionate and dear, cares would be ended if I knew that he wanted to have. 